What's up everybody? My name is Brian and I am officially going to attempt to through hike the Appalachian Trail in February of 2022. So about a month from now. Um, well, about a month and a half from now. And I wanted to make this video to just sort of go over what got me interested in the trail and just my general approach and philosophy. Um, I'm a tattoo artist and I'm like, I'm a tattoo artist. <laughs> she? Um, no, I'm a tattoo artist and when I was in my shop one day, I had somebody come in who had hiked the Appalachian Trail and when I met this person, so side note, when I met this person, they were presenting as male and now they're presenting as female. So for the sake of just being a respectful human being, I'm going to refer to that person as she. So if any of y'all recognize her trail name or something and you're confused, that's why. And she's open about this, so I don't think she'll mind if I mention that. So she came into the shop and she wanted a tattoo of a photograph of herself sitting on McAfee's knob. And I thought that was really cool, and I wanted to know the story behind it. So I got the whole story about the Appalachian Trail, and I was totally captured from the beginning. I just, the idea of hiking for six months and being out in nature and the challenge of it and the transformative nature of it completely grabbed me from the minute she started talking. I was just completely enthralled. Um, and Chopsticks is a cool person, very interesting character. Um, so that made the story all the more all the more interesting too. So I was very much interested. I bought her um, Eureka Solitaire Bivy Tent, which I do highly recommend. If you're on a budget and you want to lean towards lightweight, this thing's only like three and a half pounds, I think. Um, if y'all want to do a gear video, let me know. I can go over all my gear, all my past gear, whatever. Um, I am ultra light now. Just again, side note, I have ADHD, so there's going to be a lot of side notes. Um, I had a lot of gear that I went through, um, even, for example, I had the Osprey Levity for quite some time, well, I shouldn't say quite some time, I, well, I've had it for about a year and a half now, I did not like it, um, but I, I don't want to get all sidetracked on that gear, because I could go on and on and on about gear, but I bought a, I bought a, a Deuter, um, what was it, it might have been 65 liters, it was a heavy backpack for me at this point, I believe that was heavy, it was like five and a half pounds, it was just, to me, ridiculous, um, but it was good, it got me interested, the Eureka Solitaire, I, I used it, I've used it for every single hike um, up until now, because I swapped it out for um, a Pro Trail Lithium, so anyway, bought the tent, bought the bag, went on a few hikes, and I just, I've been obsessing about it ever since. Um, for me, I guess my approach is definitely lightweight, ultralight, um, for that. I want to enjoy being out on the trail. I'm not a very social person, despite having a very social job. Um, I tend to be, stick to myself, and, you know, the real reason, the truth is that I don't feel like I excel in social situations. Um, you know, when I'm in my shop, I'm very friendly, and, and I think people generally get along with me. But that's because I know my role. I understand who I'm supposed to be when I'm at the shop. I'm supposed to be your tattoo artist. And um, But otherwise, I feel like I, I end up saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. I end up, you know, I don't know. I just don't think I excel in social situations. So maybe the, the trail will help me sort of develop that. That's, that's something that I'm looking forward to is I'm trying to sort of kind of cop between should I stick to myself and enjoy nature as I want to, or should I push myself out of my boundaries and out of my bubble and maybe socialize and, and, and learn how to do that, because I never did. Um, I never learned that. I never learned how to socialize. Um, yeah, I never learned. I never, just never learned that. So for me, that's what interests me about the trail, is is I would like to, to enjoy nature and maybe, maybe grow and develop. I think that the transformative nature of the Appalachian Trail is what interests me more than anything. Um, the idea of coming out the other side, a different person, I think that's beautiful. Not a different person, but just a changed person. I think change is always good. I'm like very much, um, you have to change, you have to grow, you have to develop. Um, you have to in this world. You have to. You can't become stagnant. Um, <laughs> unless you have a water filter, then you can become stagnant and drink yourself safely. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think that's my, my baseline story. Um, I would love to know what sort of content any viewer would like to, to hear. Um, I could definitely talk about gear up hours upon hours. Um, I for sure could do that. I don't know if y'all want to hear that sort of thing about my, my ultralight setup. My base weight is about 8 pounds, I think, right now. Um, and that's pretty light. So if you're interested in hearing what I have exactly in my backpack and what, what kind of um, things I, I, I'm not taking and am taking, let me know. 
Um, and anything else, I would love to know what sort of what sort of content do you want to hear while I'm on the trail? What sort of content do you want me to take videos over? What do you want to see um, on the trail? I am totally open for suggestions on that. Um, I can see myself not following through with making videos, honestly. But if people want to see stuff, if people like my content, then I would love to honor that and, and respond because the YouTube videos definitely keep me motivated and interested and educated about the trail. So feel yeah, feel free to comment and leave me um leave me ideas and, and information. I think that's kind of it. I just want to introduce myself. I want to talk about why I'm going on the trail and when. Um I think that's it. I'll start I'm I'm doing Nobo. I'll start nor Nobo means northbound if, if you're kind of new to the Appalachian Trail. Um and I think that's kind of it, yeah. Doing Nobo, mid to late Feb, ultralight. That's kind of it. I have almost all my gear. The only thing I don't have are my shoes, and I think I'm going with the Hoka Speed Goats, um, but it's hard to make that commitment because I have to buy them online because I don't have an REI nearby. So I'm, like, kind of dragging my ass on that. Um, let me know what kind of content y'all want to see. Let's do it.